What is going on, rockers? Welcome to Rocking with Robbie, the YouTube show dedicated to rock music. If that sounds interesting, you make sure to give this video a like, consider subscribing, and let's get into the show. Welcome to the self-titled series, Rocking with Robbie. This show is where we talk about music every single week. You guys comment in the comments below what songs you want me to check out. I listen to them throughout the week. I give the ones I like shout-outs, and we just kind of, you know, build as a rock community. We talk about music and hopefully have a good time in the process. So definitely go in the description below and click on the Spotify playlist link. It'll take you right to these songs we're about to go over so you can listen while we talk about them or listen to them later. Now this week in particular is a little bit interesting, guys. We don't have too many hard rock songs this time around. We've got some softer stuff, some more mellow stuff. You guys recommend a ton of cool songs. We're going to go over 10 songs, nine that you recommended, and then one I'm recommending at the end of the show, so stick around for that. With all that being said, let's start it. First song up is recommended by Connor Hayes. Thank you for the recommendation. And the song is Claudland. Maybe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. It's by Highly Suspect. And man, this was a really, really fun track. You said in the comments that it's a blast to listen to. It's one of your all-time favorites. And it's a ton of fun. I'm not going to lie. It's got piercing guitarists. It's got those fast drums. This song is just full of energy. It's about as energetic as a rock song can be. And I really like that about the song. It just kind of sounds like the band drink fucking 27 gallons of coffee before going in to record it. And I just think it's a ton of fun. It's balls to the wall. I like it. Next song up is recommended by Consume Obey, and that is Suffocate by the band Cold. Cold is a kind of like a hidden gem band. They're a band that I feel like not a lot of people have heard. I don't really know if they make music anymore, but the music they used to make back in the day up until like the 2010s or something really really good stuff they've made a lot of good songs and this song in particular is probably one of their best it's kind of about you know a bad relationship and how that can feel like it's suffocating you uh hence the title the emphasis is definitely on vocals this guy's got a really clean kind of deep voice which makes it sound kind of cool there's also a female vocalist on the song and everything just blends together to create a really cool rock song that I really enjoy and I've been listening to for years, so I was really happy to see it recommended. The next song is recommended by Aaron Drake, and that is The Forgotten One by Times of Grace. Pretty sure this is the lead singer Killswitch's other band. Am I right about that? I think I'm remembering that properly. Anyway, this song is really cool. This song's super soft and it's just a badass acoustic song, man. It's got really awesome acoustic guitar work that sounds really distinct and really you can just kind of latch on to it and the vocals sound incredible there's some really good harmonizing and the lyrics just really pull you in i highly recommend the song the next track was recommended by worst scenarios and that is sympathy sex by the band the dead deads this is a band i've never heard of i did a little bit of research all female band put like weird makeup on their eyes but they are really really good or at least this song is i'll have to check out some of their other music at first in the intro of this song i thought it was going to be kind of like a fun upbeat rock song but once the chorus hits, you kind of realize that it's actually a little bit darker, a little bit grittier, a lot of a lot of grit thrown into the song, a lot of heavy guitar riffs that are kind of abrupt and chaotic, which I love, and I really, really like the lead singer's voice. I think she sounds absolutely phenomenal. She's got grit in her voice while still retaining like kind of like a, a high range and just a lot of texture in her voice, and it really translates to the song. It's just a really good kind of gritty rock song. The next track up was recommended by Music Reader. Sorry if I get the track name wrong. Uh, a Rose for Epona? I think that's what it's called. And it's by the band Elvady. Um, definitely pronouncing that wrong, but again, I list all the tracks in the description below so you guys will know how to spell them. So uh, check that out if you want to listen to the song. This song, it's kind of like hard rock meets folk rock which sounds weird, but it's actually really cool. There's like wind instruments and strings, but there's also heavy guitars and a little bit of screaming um, from a male vocalist. But the female vocalist, the lead vocalist in the song has a really high, almost fragile voice that seems like it can break at any moment. And I love voices like that that just sound kind of fragile and tender. I don't like using the word tender. Probably get that out of my vocabulary, but the song's really, really good. And it's got a lot of atmosphere to it. Again, like all those weird wind instruments and strings really build an atmosphere around it and the heavy guitars kind of give it a little bit of grit. And I really like the song. I think she's got an incredible voice. She can really sing. And uh, yeah, it's a good track. Check it out. The next track is recommended by TGS Primo or Primo. 
I'm not sure. He does music covers on his YouTube channel, so you guys should definitely check him out. He's been uh, following the channel for a while. The song is Parachute Dreams by Rain, and I think this song's actually really, 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 really cool. Uh, the vocals sound incredible. There's either some really nice harmonizing or double tracking. I couldn't quite tell going on in the song that really thickens the vocals and gives them kind of like a really big sound. And there's some really long notes too that play into that, which I really like. And the breakdown is really cool. You get these awesome drums and then the outro is even better with some really nice guitar work. So check it out, guys. The next track was recommended by Monica LW and that is Aces High by Iron Maiden. I'm a big Iron Maiden fan. I love a lot of their music. One of my favorite metal bands for sure. And this song is really cool. There's, you know, a lot of awesome guitar work. It's kind of fast paced, but it's kind of quiet. So it gives room for the vocals to shine, which I like. And uh, there's also some really nice guitar solos implemented into the song, but they never try to outshine the song because the song's a little bit more mellow for an Iron Maiden song. I would say you get some soaring vocals, of course, and I really like the echoey vocals that kind of go on in this track. I think that's really cool as well. Lyrics are great. It's just a really, really cool metal song, so check it out. The next track was recommended by Max Irk, and that is Last Ride by Dancing. And this is a really cool song. I think it's off of their newest album. I didn't hear it, but I did hear this song. And it kind of has a bluesy feel to it, which I love. It kind of sounds like rock at a very raw form, which is definitely a compliment, because I love that kind of rock. And there's some really cool distorted guitar work that goes on. This guy's voice is very bluesy, very soulful, very deep, which really gives it that bluesy feel that I really like. It's kind of just a stripped back, simple rock song that I think you guys will really dig. So check it out. The next track was recommended by Eric Trejo, and that is Lazy Eye by the band Silver Sun Pickups. This is a really fun song. It gives off a warm vibe, which I love. It's kind of like an indie rock feeling song for sure. I love the lead singer's voice. He's got this high, raspy voice that sounds really unique, and it sounds fantastic next to the more mellow guitars. And I will say, I love when the song kind of explodes. It's pretty brief, but when it does, it gives off this beam of energy that I think the song needed. And uh, I'm glad that they delivered in that way. And I really enjoyed the song, so make sure to check it out, guys. Okay, guys, I'm really excited to talk about my recommendation for the week. So make sure you check this out. It's something that is definitely a different flavor. Uh, you guys maybe don't expect me to listen to this kind of music, but I do, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of recommend it since you guys recommended a lot of mellow songs this time around, which was kind of a nice change of pace. So uh, definitely check out Better Than by the band Lake Street Dive. One of my favorite bands, honestly. One of my favorite songs, even. So definitely check this out. It's, you know, I love this band because they kind of have like a jazzy rock indie sound, which is really cool. They use a lot of classic kind of instruments, which makes it fun. And this song in particular, it's like all bass, which I love. And the lead singer, she has like a really deep voice and she has so much control over it. And she can really tinker with it and do a lot of things with it. She has a huge range. She's an absolutely incredible singer. One of my favorite female vocalists is the lead singer of Lake Street Dive. She is absolutely phenomenal. And the band in general is phenomenal. I love that it's bass and vocals. I think that sounds so cool. The lyrics are fantastic on this track. They really pull you into the song and the harmonizing on the song is absolutely brilliant. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. 10 songs for you to check out until the next show. I think it's a really, really cool lineup. A little bit more unique than some of the previous episodes. So check these songs out. I think you will have a blast with them. There's a lot of variety this episode, which I like. And uh, make sure to give this video a like. Let me know that you are digging this series so I can continue doing it. And also remember, recommend more songs in the comments down below. That's what keeps this series alive. Without you guys and your recommendations, I am nothing. Also wanted to say very quickly, Nickelback and Rise Against are coming out with albums, and I'm going to try to review them both if I have time. I'm definitely reviewing Nickelback. If I have time, I will review Rise Against as well. I am very excited for those albums. I'm excited to talk about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want, you can give this video a like. Share it with friends, and to join the rock revolution, subscribe. And as always, guys, rock on!